this cottage has been turned into temporary housing for those that lost their homes and that were evacuated following the Ukrainian shelling of a civilian building in the city of Belgrade on Sunday. Now, uh, these classrooms have been turned into bedrooms. This is typical of the rooms that we have seen. Emotions here are running very high. Many people are angry and upset at the loss of their homes. Much of that anger is directed towards the West, who they blame for the continued supply of weapons that are used to strike civilian areas. Inform all people of the world, it's impossible for a person not to understand that it's not normal to act like this, to kill children, old people, it's impossible. A six-week-old child died during this bombing. Well, barbarians, how else can I address you? How? You are also like us. You must have our soul and roots. Well, these are not people. Firstly, you know where you're shooting at. We have a neighbourhood, a sports complex, a school, a daycare centre and apartment blocks. We don't have anything that would interest you, well, in quotes, a little bit. No military equipment, no schools, no troop deployment, there's none of that. It's purely, well, a residential area. Well, there are no words at all. Barbarism, destruction of people. There are women, children, old people. Who are you fighting with? What are you doing? Do you have anything sacred? I want to go home very badly because my grandmother, my grandfather and my cat Marusia are there. I really want to go home so that the war will end. But the situation remains volatile. We had to take shelter as air sirens sounded, clearly distressing for those traumatized by Sunday's attack. Officials explain that basic needs are being met. Residents receive three meals a day and children are able to continue their schooling. It's not clear how long they will stay here. Longer term solutions are being sought. A normal number of people are here. They will be here for the amount of time they need until they're given housing or return to their territory, their home. Many are suffering the after effects of the missile strike, both physically and mentally. Medical teams are supporting those affected. We have psychological help organized by our psychologists who are in the Children's Regional Clinical Hospital. This is for children and their parents. And we also have help in the psychiatric hospital. And with each shelling in different locations, our psychologists come out and provide help to both relatives and victims. This work has been built up for a long time because the conditions in which we live force us to do it. Belgorod remains very much a city on the front line, bearing the brunt of Ukrainian attacks. People here fear that the Western supply of long-range weapons and its green lighting of attacks inside Russian territory will increase the civilian death toll. But on the battlefield, the Russian advances in Kharkov region provide some hope for a much-needed buffer zone and relief for the people of Belgorod. This is Steve Sweeney for RT, Belgorod City.